Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. We are doing a Ramadan reset and we're doing decorating for Ramadan today. So yesterday I filmed myself cleaning. So I'll probably put that in, do a little voiceover, kind of walk you guys through everything that I do to reset the house for Ramadan. And then we were supposed to decorate today, but my babies have both been sick. So I didn't get the chance to do it today, but I did get all my decor out. So I thought I would do a little haul. After I do the little haul, then tomorrow we will do the actual decorating. And I'm just so excited. Like I've been dreaming about decorating this house for Ramadan forever. And I cannot believe we're finally here. Alhamdulillah. So let's get to cleaning and then decorating. Before Ramadan starts, I like to do a little refresh around the house just because the first week of fasting is normally the hardest. And I don't want to have to worry about doing any major cleaning or anything that week. This is also a little refresh after we've been sick because both of my babies had hand, foot, mouth, and I also got a fever as well. I don't know if that means I had it as well, but basically we all were sick over this past week. So we were in dire need of just a little deep clean around the house. This year um, during Ramadan, I'm actually not gonna be fasting because I'm still breastfeeding. I feel like there've been so many Ramadans that I've shared with you guys that I've, where I've been either pregnant or breastfeeding and I haven't been fasting. But I still wanted to give you guys some motivation to get stuff done before the month starts. It's so crazy how much change one year can bring because last Ramadan, I was pregnant with Jonah and now he is nine months old. Mashallah, I cannot believe it. Just thinking back to last Ramadan, I was so exhausted, so pregnant. I was so uncomfortable. I couldn't even stand up to pray. I had to sit down and I'm just looking forward to like being able to just maybe enjoy Ramadan a little bit better this year just because I just remember just being so exhausted. So as you guys saw, what I like to do is use my little carpet spot cleaner. I get any areas around my house, like my couches, my chairs, but I also use them for our prayer mats. They're like a memory foam and we can't put them in the washing machine. So they were perfect to just go ahead and make sure those were all fresh and clean before Ramadan starts. After cleaning my kitchen, my floors, the living room, we're gonna head into the laundry room so I can make sure that my prayer clothes are clean to start off the month. And then I'm gonna go and strip all of our sheets off the bed and wash them so that we can have nice fresh sheets to start off Ramadan as well. Something else that I wanna do this Ramadan that kind of goes along with having like a fresh clean space is finding a signature scent for my home during Ramadan. Scent is so tied to memory and I just want to be able to have like a signature scent that always reminds me of this beautiful time of year. I thought it was a really good idea to share with you guys, but I'm still looking for that signature scent and I really want to learn how to burn bakhur. If you don't know what bakhur is, it's basically incense. You could do it with a candle or like other home fragrance. Bakhur is just so traditional and I just love love the scent of it like it was all over mecca when we went for umrah and i just want to like replicate that in my home okay just quickly tidying up and wiping down my bathroom and also just wanted to give a quick shout out to my vacuum mop because this thing saves me so much time when i'm cleaning my house so let me do a little haul of all of the decor that I've got so far this year. Okay, so all my decor is all laid out. So let's do a little haul of everything that I got. A lot of these are small Muslim women owned businesses that I'm really excited to support. First up from Days of Eid is this gorgeous calligraphy sign that says Ramadan Mubarak. I love the arch on this and I'm gonna be putting this in my living room, I think, but it would be beautiful anywhere on an entry table, on a fireplace mantle. Okay, how beautiful is this door? Or hanger arch I don't know what to call it but it's basically a little like decor for your front door or like you can basically use it anywhere as well like next to your fireplace on a top of a table like it's just a centerpiece all on its own and it comes with a little gold hook that you like put over your door and you can just like hook it onto your door I love this I actually have two that I'm gonna put side by side uh, on the back door so that we can like look at it all day I got a lot of stuff from days of Eid these nude cloches with the 
wooden base are so stunning. I feel like I could envision desserts going under here. It's just so beautiful and it comes with two different sizes. How stunning is that? Love it. My theme this year is very neutral, wooden, earthy, linen. So that was kind of like the vibe I was going with. And also like white and gold, which I feel like are staples for my house. Another thing is since this is our first year in the house, I needed a bunch of things because I have more space to decorate this year. But this is not gonna be like a normal every year type thing where I just continuously get more and more and more. These are like pieces I wanted to get that would just be kind of like my staple pieces for Ramadan decor every year. I feel like everyone has seen these, but I absolutely love them. They're from a brand called Razum, and they are these little sculptural mosques with the minaret. You can put little tea light candles in here, and they're so beautiful. Also from Razum is this really pretty domed jar, and I believe these come in several colors. This is iconic. I feel like this Alhamdulillah sign has been like my main decor piece during Ramadan for so long. It's from a brand called With a Spin. These little acrylic pieces I got from Cedar Olive Home. This is from a brand called Studio Naima. It is a Ramadan Mubarak sign in this like gold mirrored material. It's so pretty. Also comes with a moon and star as well, but I'm just going to use the calligraphy and I'm going to put this in my dining room. This really isn't like Ramadani. This is more just Palestinian, but it's this really pretty etched cutting board with the Tetris pattern. This is probably my favorite piece of decor in my whole house. I love it. It's from a brand called Rosewood. How stunning are these olive branch garlands? They're pre-lit. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's got little fairy lights in it. I'm going to place this on my fireplace mantle and there's two of them here to give more of a fuller look. You can also place this down a dining table. And then I also am thinking about putting fairy lights in my little olive tree that's in my dining room. For serving dates, I got several different little trays to share with you guys. This is a little wooden platter. This comes in a set of two. So I'm going to put these all along the dining table. I also got this wooden moon and star tray. Both of these wooden trays are from Amazon. This I had last year from a brand called Maison Zedo. And I just thought this was the prettiest thing to just like display little snacks in for guests and then for my tablescape this year I have these stunning little cylindrical glass vases with the candles and it comes with three different sizes I can link the vases and the candles for you guys they are gonna look so stunning lining the, the table you could even just do like a little cluster of three in the middle of your table and that would be really beautiful as well okay that's pretty much everything so let's get to decorating this year, my daughter is three and a half for Ramadan and she is so excited. She still remembers our countdown calendar from last Ramadan and she's getting really excited seeing all the decorations and I can't wait to like get all the different crafts and stuff for her this year and just really like teach her a little bit more about what this month is about. I know she's still a little bit young, but I just want to like just kind of introduce those concepts to her. So Jonah did just start crawling literally a couple weeks ago so the lanterns that I had planned down the hallway I may have to put those away I'm not sure yet I don't know but either way I can bring them out in a couple years once I don't have to worry about it anymore but we're literally we just got out of baby proofing for Elena and now we are straight back into it and then I went ahead and filmed a little set the table with me for iftar for Instagram and for TikTok. So I thought I'd just share with you guys for inspo. I love how this tablescape turned out. The only thing is speaking of baby proofing is I will probably switch out the candles to some like LED battery operated ones. Um, just for safety with the kids and stuff. I feel like any iftar party is gonna have kids running around. But other than that, it's just so pretty and I'll have everything linked below. Okay, I wanted to show you guys the final result of everything. I'll start with the table since I didn't show you guys that yet. So this is how it turned out. Obviously, it's not Ramadan yet, so this is just for inspo, but we are gonna be hosting a Ramadan dinner for our families this year, inshallah. So this is kind of what I'm thinking for this main table, just to kind of display the dates. And I love these little pillar candles, the linen table runner. I'll have all of this linked in my description box, the moon and star tray. 
with my date balls and some nuts and stuff like that but I just love how it all came together I'm excited to see what it looks like at night with like this all lit up and then this is how the hallway wound up looking with the lanterns and I am obsessed I think it turned out so stunning I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video thanks so much for cleaning and decorating with me in preparation for Ramadan I love you guys so much and I can't wait to take you guys throughout the month with our vlogs inshallah like we always do so I will see you guys in my next video